when they were but newborn babes. Their cribs in the maternity ward were right beside each other. And Kakarot cried, terrorizing my son. But that's really dumb. But, but he's so cool. But that's so dumb. Howdy friendos, my name is Stuart and welcome to the part of the channel where we took a look at pop culture characters and determine what alignment they are. Today we'll be looking at the Dragon Ball series and examining one of its most interesting and possibly polarizing characters, Broly, the legendary Super Saiyan. However, as many of you know, Dragon Ball is a long-running series spanning over 30 years of history. And while I personally am a big fan of the series, by no means am I an expert. So today I brought in Dragon Ball expert, indie comic creator, and resident cool dude, Lauren Simpson, aka Masako X. Hey guys, Masako X here. I talk about Dragon Ball, most Dragon Ball things, basically only Dragon Ball really, but if it is Dragon Ball you want to know, I'm your guy. Welcome to the show, dude. It's nice to have you on the channel again. Are you ready to look at our Brolies? Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait plural? Did you just say Brolies? Sure did, dude. Come on, Stuart, the first one, really? I thought people would start forgetting about that one. Well, yeah, it's still a part of Dragon Ball history and a part that many people look at and remember fondly. Plus, the lore behind the character is sort of interesting and really fun. Oh, no doubt. Broly's a very important part of the Dragon Ball fandom and quite fascinating if you look at him from both a narrative and meta concept and away from basically anything else competent. Broly's first incarnation was created and written by Takao Koyama, an anime screenwriter with an impressive resume, including most of the Dragon Ball movies, over 60 episodes of the anime, which is about maybe oof, about 1% of the total amount, and even some other anime work including Saint Seiya, Legend of Basara, and even Slayers. Oh wait, he worked on Slayers? Yeah. Why? No reason. Either way, Broly was created by a series veteran and does deserve some respect, especially in recent years since Koyama has gone on record to say that Broly was his favorite villain that he ever wrote. He basically lives, eats, and sleeps Broly. I wonder if he has a Broly body pillow. Probably does. And to be honest, the concept is pretty badass. Broly is the legendary Super Saiyan. Throughout the Namek art, we keep hearing Vegeta talk about the legendary Super Saiyan and how it only occurs once every 1,000 years. And at the time of Dragon Ball's release, we had no idea what that means, or even if it had any meaning at all. Remember the Scouters? It's over 9,000! Vegeta had a habit of blowing a lot of hot air, and he's been wrong before. Saiyans had a lot of OP abilities, but the concept of a Super Saiyan was totally new to us. It wasn't until that fateful moment when Frieza kills Krillin did we understand what a Super Saiyan was. Once we saw those legendary golden spikes, we knew that this was legendary Super Saiyan territory we were starting to venture into. Or was it? This is, I think, the brilliance of Broly's concept and transformation. Goku achieves something that almost no other Saiyan achieves. Through his pure heart, hard work, and plenty of juice, Goku unlocked the ability to transform into something more. However, once Broly stepped into the frame, we knew instantly that the heroes were wrong. Goku was not the Saiyan foretold by prophecy. It was this guy. Broly's power doesn't stem from any sort of hard work or Training. Broly's power and abilities are the result of destiny and fate. It doesn't have any logic or meaning. He is just that strong because he is the legendary Super Saiyan. Unfortunately, that is where the intrigue of the original Broly ends. Broly the legendary Super Saiyan is shockingly boring. Pretty to look at, but boring. In his first movie, Broly was the most powerful Saiyan baby born in their modern age, with a power level of 10,000. Just for some comparison, Nappa only had a power level of about 4,000 at his strongest. It's debatable. Once again, this would be a cool concept, but he then artificially grew an unnatural hatred against Goku, because when as a baby, Goku cried a lot for like three hours, which made Broly cry like a baby. And that's it. So, Broly hated himself for crying. Yeah, it's best not to think about it too much. 
That's Broly's motivation and character in a nutshell. King Vegeta feared the baby, tried to kill him, but because of Broly's immense power, he somehow saved himself and his father using some protective shield. Did he and Android 17 have a meeting or something? Then throughout the rest of his life, he's an angry evil boy who kills and attacks for fun and must be controlled through some stupid psychic hand thing his father has because he bought it off some random space merchant because, yeah, that's how it works. And also, cost Paragus an eye. Well, at least he still has his arm and a leg. We then start the movie where Broly blows up South Galaxy and, yeah, the visual is kind of cool, but, you know, okay, this unknown evil, all right, okay, he's chaotic evil, next. Years later, in December 2018, Dragon Ball Super Broly was released in Japan, fixing many of the problems we listed above. This movie was written by Akira Toriyama himself, the original creator of Dragon Ball, and gave Broly some much needed changes and adjustments. First of all, they changed his lame backstory. Toriyama took a look at everything and went, hmm, I actually want to have a go at writing this. While he was still born with immense potential, it was handled so much better. Rather than King Vegeta trying to just stab him with a knife, he simply exiled Broly to a forgotten world called Vampa, where he wouldn't cause any trouble. This would normally be a death sentence, even to an extremely gifted child like Broly. That is, until Paragus shows up with his intervention, they were able to survive. I mean, Beats wasn't able to survive, but, you know, two out of three ain't bad. And Broly grew up to be a strong and relatively civilized young man or at the very least, as civilized as he could be. We'll be starting this Brawly as true neutral, but leaning him towards the chaotic side. He still has some manners and attempts to be as polite as possible, but there are just some problems he can't get over being raised by a Saiyan in a wasteland. Not only that, he is still the legendary Super Saiyan by all intents and purposes. However, the rules for this transformation have changed slightly. Unlike Kale's power, now referred to as Super Saiyan Berserker, the mechanics of the transformation are largely the same. Broly still goes full power Super Saiyan, that's what Goku had against Cell, if you want an equivalent, but it is also tinged with its own unique form, Wrathful Broly. This wrathful form drives the ever-increasing strength and loss of control for Broly throughout the movie. Your power rises without logic or reason to meet nearly any challenge. While in this form, the Saiyan has little to no control over their actions. However, we will be counting the transformation itself as an action that does affect alignment. And if you're wondering about where that Wrathful form name came from, I was at the Skytree exhibition and whatever is said in Japan is true. There is no debate. Japan said it, so it must be true. And with that, let's go. We're not doing Bio Broly. Broly starts with blowing up South Galaxy, for no reason. This is short, but it's gonna feel real long, isn't it? Chaotic Evil. I am Broly. So I guess you're saying as well. Yes, sir. Broly assists his father with his lie, which will result in the death of Vegeta and the rest of his gang. Chaotic Evil. Broly attacks Goku in the middle of the night. Chaotic Evil. Broly goes Super Saiyan and attacks everyone. Admittedly a badass transformation though. Chaotic Evil. Broly destroys the Samotian planet. Kinda small fry after a whole galaxy though, but still Chaotic Evil. Broly kills his own father. Chaotic Evil. Broly shouts Kakarot into the sky. Kakarot! Just riveting. Chaotic Neutral. Broly just attacked Videl for no reason. Chaotic Evil and how dare he! He then attacks two children for no reason. I mean, I guess Goten looks like Goku, but whatever. Chaotic Evil. Broly tortures a child. Chaotic Evil. Broly decides to mix it up this round and attacks someone else for, you guessed it, no reason. Chaotic Evil. Okay, try to keep up because it's very complicated, but Broly, hear me out, turns legendary Super Saiyan so he can beat people up, but stronger this time. Chaotic Evil. You ever get so filled with evil your heart just explodes? Chaotic Evil, I guess. Hey folks, did you see those funny dice rolls on the Bad Broly movies? Well, those are inspired by my Saiyan Race, Class, and Prestige Class for Pathfinder First Edition, currently now on sale at LoadingCrewCrafts.com.
If you ever wanted to play as a Saiyan in your D&D campaigns, well this is the closest you'll ever get with the new racial abilities, plenty of new feats, traits, and flaws ready for you. The Keymaster class is fully customizable if you want to play like Goku, Vegeta, or even Broly, and the Super Saiyan Prestige class is designed to complement any psionic or barbarian class. Check it out at LoadingCrewCrafts.com. And before you ask, yes, we are working on Pathfinder 2nd Edition and D&D 5th Edition conversions. Those will be released at a later date. And now, back to the video. So this is your son. His battle power is 920? Okay, we're, good. we're doing better here. Broly's first act in this movie is in self-defense and for survival. Neutral. I feel so good to say after that. Yes! Our first intro for Broly is him protecting his dad and being a total badass. Lawful good. In this sequence, Broly acts about as well as he can. He <laughs> takes the food hungrily, but does remember his manners after being reminded by Paragus. Neutral good. Why so full? It's dirty. It stinks. Seriously, when was the last time you- It stays on! <laughs> Broly overreacts to chi -Li's actions. I would classify it as chaotic neutral, but then he realizes this and then explains that his cape thing is special. Neutral. Got a problem with me? I do. Big Broly defends Chi-Li despite being told to behave. Chaotic good. By the way, thanks for the help early. Broly bonds with Chi-Li and Lemo. He explains his history with Ba and even defends his father against their accusations. Neutral good. This is our chance, my son! Attack! Broly attacks Vegeta at Paragus' orders. He seems more than eager to do so, though, since they blame him for being condemned to Vampa. Lawful evil. You'll listen to your father, do you hear me? At this point, Broly has ordered to come back to the ship, but continues to fight and attack due to his rage. Chaotic evil. Well, I mean, you gotta have some chaotic evil in Broly, I guess. You can stop fighting. You don't have to listen to what the others tell you to do. Goku gives Broly the opportunity to reject Paragus and Frieza, but Broly chooses to attack anyway. Chaotic evil. <laughs> Broly, look! It's such a tragedy! <laughs> do you hear me? <gasps> That's your father! He was killed by a stray energy blast! Frieza tricks Broly into believing his father's death was caused by his fight with the Earthlings. And admittedly, that was one of the best things in the movie and how Frieza reacted to that, but anyway, I'm, I digress. Because of this, Broly's motivation was no longer due to anger or rage, but from the pain of loss, just like Goku. His transformation is from a pure heart and now fights to avenge his father. Chaotic good and nat 20 scene. <laughs> Great scene, but I'm choosing not to give this moment an alignment because at this point, Broly is totally lost in his berserker rage. Same thing with him attacking Whis and Gogeta. Broly accepts Goku's help and agrees to be his training partner. Neutral. But then this guy showed up and was so much stronger than me. Broly? Call me Kakarot. <laughs> Broly's so cool! Toriyama really did the Dragon Ball fan base a favor when he rewrote Broly's story, breathing new life into a character that desperately needed it. Because our old boy's arc was as stale as a grape-flavored medicine pack. Ooh, I'm the legendary Super Saiyan. I'm evil. Ah, Agreed. However, the new Broly also doesn't switch alignments much, and I'd hesitate to say he goes through a very drastic character arc because at the beginning of the movie, Broly is something of a gentle giant who is guided around by another wiser person. At the end of the movie, he's still roughly the same thing. However, this time he is guided by Chi-Li and Lemo, two characters who are considerably less toxic than his father. The changes are subtle, but sometimes that's all you really need to fix a character. The changes with Broly were simple, but incredibly effective. Step one, give him some kind of a personality, literally anything. Step two, make him sympathetic. Step three, change his motivation to something not forcibly tied to Goku. And step four, give him a stronger supporting cast. And step five, include chanting, because that was brilliant. And also fun fact, 
that was actually a tribute to all the Mexican and Latin American fan bases that watched the last couple of episodes of Super collectively in wide open spaces. And Toei didn't like that, so they actually did a cease and desist letter to the Mexican government. Thusly, Japan and Mexico had a diplomatic spat because of Dragon Ball Super. And that's it. With those small changes, you change Broly from an obstacle with muscles to a three-dimensional character with huge story potential in the future. And by the way, Frieza talks, it's looking like we're going to get more of these three. It helps too that Dragon Ball's lore and stories are finally expanding and giving us so much more to work with than what we used to get. Now that Broly is canon, I would love to find out more about the mechanics of these transformations. Well, I mean, if you're still hungry for Dragon Ball content, you can head over to my channel, Masako X, where I upload videos talking about the anatomy and transformations of the Universe 6 Saiyans in Dragon Ball Super, around about now. And if you want more alignment videos, be sure to subscribe and watch our playlist. Catch you later!